Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Every season I get a lot of questions on peppers, but the most asked question about peppers is why the flowers are dropping and not producing fruits. So this question is going to be very difficult to answer because there are so many different reasons why the flowers drop. So I'm going to list out uh, some of the reasons and you can go down your checklist and try to diagnose it yourself um, I'm also going to um, List the timeline in the description below so that you can just go directly to the section you want to watch because this could be a little bit long Okay, so the first reason why Some varieties would drop flowers, especially the super hot varieties uh, is because of temperature uh, even though they're tropical plants Many varieties, like the super hots, like the reapers, the seven pot, um, any of those super hots, uh, they will struggle when temperature reaches like 90 degrees Fahrenheit and above. So I live in Texas and our temperature can get crazy. It, it'll go up to like 100 degrees and above uh, in the mid middle of summer and all of my flowers just drop. They, they just can't take the heat. So um, wait until uh, the later season where the temperatures start to cool a little bit. Uh, once that happens, your super hots are going to produce like crazy. Uh, you may get a few pots here and there, but uh, most of the time um, heat will cause your plants to stress and uh, they will drop flowers. Uh, a way to reduce uh, that stress, uh, if you're able, is to put like shade cloth. Uh, above those uh, plants and try to you know shade it from the sun and uh, not get it all beat up and then you will get uh, more production out of those uh, varieties so uh, uh, there are certain varieties that will uh, produce at very hot temperature and those would be like uh, the Thai varieties they're great um, I've grown sugar rush peach guys I mean that that plant for some reason they it produces like crazy even though it's really really hot so uh, some of the ahi varieties also are great at high temperature so look into those and uh, you will get see uh, peppers uh, throughout the season so try to grow different um, varieties so that you can um, at least have some peppers um, so again the Thai varieties for sure uh, Thai hybrids and all that stuff they will produce so you see here like like crazy okay and uh, that's reason number one uh, the second reason why your um, peppers would drop flowers is um, because of uh, over fertilizing uh, many people sometimes don't realize that you cannot <laughs> over over fertilize your, your pepper plants uh, they're very sensitive and uh, they actually they they like it a little at a time a uh, little goes a long way when it goes when it comes to peppers so don't over fertilize your plants uh, let me show you what over fertilizing looks like I actually did one on purpose so that I can show you in the video so here is a plant that I purposely over fertilize and you can see here you see how the, the leaves are burnt at the tip um, it kind of shrivel up and uh, doesn't look very good, right? Um, it's going to be okay. You can kind of like uh, uh, change out the soil or kind of give it a thorough water, try to mix it and uh, dilute it and all that stuff. Uh, mix new soil and then eventually it will come back. Uh, you can also even cut the top piece off because the bottom leaves are okay and then um, fix the problem and then the new shoots and the new leaves will be just fine so um, wrinkle leaf like this uh, sometimes people mistaken it for like pests and stuff and it could possibly be pests but for sure in this instance right here it is um, due to uh, over fertilizing because I just overfed this plant and I did it in a container so that it doesn't affect the other plants okay so over fertilizing is not a good idea so less is more and only feed your plants when you feel like it needs it um, there you can you can watch for signs like um, uh, it doesn't look healthy it's a little bit yellowish so uh, don't over fertilize your peppers and because if you do it'll drop all of its flowers um, also because when you fertilize too much the peppers will focus on taking up the nutrients for growth 
and in order for it to grow it will drop all of the flowers so uh, during bloom so always when you see your, your peppers are starting to bloom um, if it looks healthy leave it alone reduce fertilizing at that stage and you will get flowers and you will get peppers um, a lot of the times people say like you, when you over care for the peppers you get less peppers <laughs> it, it's funny so um, once they start to bloom if they look healthy don't feed it um, if it looks unhealthy give it a little feeding and then you know monitor it for uh, like a week and then do additional feeding don't give it a ton at a time and expect it to use it up over time it doesn't work like that okay and then the third reason for peppers to drop flowers is a pest problem so oftentimes um, if you have aphids or um, thrips or mites and stuff like that they will do a lot of damage to the plant before you even notice it so uh, they're very tiny especially the mites and the thrips they they'll just um, suck on the, the the sap of your plant and then eventually um, the plants get to a point where it started to stress before you even notice it so check for pests on your plants uh, this one here I know has pests because I placed it right next to um, one of the ground cherry that has aphids so let me show you I'm putting this guy through all kind of stress tests so if you flip the plant over uh, the leaves over you see that's an aphid right there. It's not an infestation yet, but um, you see, there it is right there. There's a colon little colony of aphids right there. And uh, the green ones are the ones that are alive and they're gonna suck on the, the leaves and, and feed on it. Uh, the brown one there, those are paras they're parasitized. So there's parasitic wasps that, would, uh, that you may encounter in your garden and the, the wasps would sting the aphids and lay eggs in there so uh, those you can just leave see and then dust these here you can crush them see the the aphids and stuff like that will cause your plant to stress and it will um, uh, cause the plants to to drop flowers stress is a big part of uh, of <laughs> if the plants would keep the flowers or not so um check for pests. Uh, the mites are usually uh, found uh, under the leaves or at the at the kind of like the tip of your plants and they're very small so sometimes you may have to use like a, a magnifying glass to see them and the, you will see them and they'll collect around there. Uh, they're very small like little dots and they start to move around. The thrips are about the same size but they're like kind of like longer uh, and those can fly so they they'll fly from plants to plants so make sure to check for aphids and mites and stuff like that where you live and if that's a huge problem then uh, your plants will also uh, drop flowers and a, a, a good sign of um, um, your mites problem is sometimes in the middle of the leaf it start to turn yellow like this yellow spots um, in the leaves and then um, for aphids as well is just you know flip the plants over they're, they're very easy to see sometimes you see ants moving up and down you follow the ants then you see the aphids so make sure to get rid of all of the pest problem and then your peppers will start to produce okay and the next problem that would cause your peppers to drop flowers is overwatering. Uh, overwatering is a big factor because sometimes you can't see how uh, wet it is down here you can only look at the top and the, even though the top looks dry sometimes it could be very very wet down here depending on what type of soil you use if you have a lot of clay soil clay soil typically uh, keeps water for very long and then at the top it just looks really dry and then if you keep watering and watering your plant is going to stress because the roots have to have to breathe and if you keep watering then you know it's, it's going to cause the plant to like slowly drown and and that is a big problem uh, a sign for that is uh, your leaves will turn like a light yellow color and it will look unhealthy and uh, they're they don't they won't produce a lot of leaves that are nice and green they just look yellow and weak and sick 
so uh, overwatering is not a good idea so make sure to use soil that drains uh, water out really well um, avoid the clay type soil uh, clay usually uh, keeps water like a pool and that will damage the root and eventually kill the pepper plants so don't overwater your plants um, a good watering method is um, give the pepper plant a thorough water make sure the water uh, the the soil is, has good moisture and then water can drain out if you use um, containers uh, if you use a, if you plant them in the ground also make sure that the uh, the soil that you use for the ground can drain water out easily as well so uh, that is very very important so don't overwater your plant and if you do it's gonna look sick and uh, it'll drop all of their flowers all right guys so another reason for uh, pepper plants to drop flowers is because of diseases so uh, there are some pepper diseases that will cause um, your plants to just drop flowers and just look brittle um, so check for signs of those you can google um, uh, like the the bacterial leaf spots and there's other pepper uh, mosaic disease and stuff like that there's there's so many examples online that you can look and uh, those will definitely cause many of your flowers to drop so make sure to check for those and see if your peppers have any kind of disease um, and then you can diagnose if that is the reason why your plants drop flowers Okay, and the last reason, and this is actually not a bad reason, uh, and that is because sometimes your peppers produce too many flowers, so it will shed some to keep some. So like, for example, this one here, and as you can see, there are some that are turning yellow. See, these are the ones that are going to fall off, and that's because that's just the nature of it. If there are just so many peppers on here, some would just not make it because the plants has to get rid of a, a, a bunch to, to save the rest. Uh, also, sometimes it could be uh, some flowers didn't get pollinated. So if they didn't, didn't get pollinated, then they would not become um, a fruit. So uh, when you grow outside, you really don't have to worry about pollination because you have uh, wind peppers are self pollinators. And what that means is uh, the, they, they they have all the parts to produce the fruits so once the flower open like this and then uh, they will create pollen and then with the wind or the bugs or anything like that uh, then the pollen would drop into uh, uh, the little centerpiece right there I think that's called the stigma and then it will produce uh, pods because it pollinate itself so um, uh, peppers are self pollinators just like tomatoes so if the flower somehow didn't get pollinated then it could drop uh, also again as I mentioned uh, if there are too many flowers and also the size of your plant as well uh, if your plant cannot support all of the fruits then it will just shed most of it and keep what it can keep um, so for example this one here it's a very small plant so I'm not going to expect it to produce too much because it doesn't have uh, the, the energy to produce that many flowers and keep all of them so it will drop some uh, the larger plants are able to keep more because it's just a bigger plant bigger root system so it can take up more and more nutrients and resources that it needs so it will keep more um, flowers and more fruits so I think that should cover most of uh, what I wanted to go over uh, and I did cover these subjects before but I think people just don't look at the older videos so I'm gonna try to make note of this and then anytime people ask I'm gonna link you guys to the video so I hope that helped you guys uh, this season and good luck to your grow and I uh, hope you will get tons and tons of peppers uh, this year thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe